Hey guys! This video is about Pure One Swirl Decor that I've always wanted and now I was inspired by it and I made one for myself using real mosaic mirror sheets. I started out by drawing my own set of patterns to give it a different look. Because I wanted personalizing this look, I had to draw out patterns that would suit the design that I want. You don't have to be artistic to make this kind of wall decor because whatever pattern that you have is going to shine because of the mirrors. Now the mirrors is what's going to give it a very nice and glamorous effect. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is the pattern that I drew out on paper because I needed to see what it was going to look like before I start. I cut out a measurement from a foam board of 20 inches by 12 inches and then I drew out squares on four corners each of 4.5 inches. This paper here is 4.5 inches and I drew the first pattern on it and that's what I'm going to be using at four corners. Now all I'm doing here is cutting out the designs from the paper. Because I was using a regular size printing paper, the sides look like it's been cut off, but I'm going to finish up the curves on the board. This is what the five pieces look like together. And then I'm going to be placing them on the board and tracing them out. Like I said earlier, I used a printing paper and the space was not enough, so I will be finishing it off on the board. I'm using a pencil to trace out the design on the board. This pattern is going to be at both ends of the board. This pattern is going to be on all four corners. If you look at the right, the patterns I drew were kind of close to each other. It should look like this, so I had to move it up a bit. This is where I'm going to trace out the next pattern. And I did the same thing for the opposite side. I'm drawing out the next pattern and it's going to be in the middle. The next pattern is going to be drawn out four times on both sides. To draw it out on the other side, I just turned it over and then drew it four times. This is what it looks like. And now you can do this after you've spray painted the board, but then I prefer to do mine before I spray paint and I'm going to make the lines more visible for myself using an X-Acto knife. But then you can make it more visible also using a pencil by making it harder on the board. I use the silver or sodium spray paint and this is what it looks like. I'm using this mirror mosaic sheet and I'm going to be cutting them into singular strips because it's easier to make curves and bends on your design when they are in singular strips. When I got to the curls that I have on my design, all I did was just to remove one piece of the mirrors at a time to attach them to the board. I love using this for DIY projects because they're self-adhesive and they're so easy to apply on the board.
as I was doing this, I realized that I was going to have a lot of open spaces. So what I did was to overlap the mirrors on the open spaces by placing the strips on top of the other strips that were first laid down on the board. This is a good way to cover it up and it's not going to be noticeable that much because of the size of the square mirrors. When mine started looking a little bit irregular, I had to take a closer look at the actual Pier 1 mosaic wall decor. And it was okay. So I continued. Keep in mind that this is a mosaic wall art. So when I was done with this, I realized it was okay. And then I continued filling up the mirrors for the rest of the pattern that I have on the board. When I was done, I just glued a hook at the back to mount it on the wall. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a Pier 1 inspired look. And I'm happy that I incorporated my own patterns inside and it still came out looking all shiny and glamorous. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.